Australia and people watching right around the world. We're here on the Tartan Couch. I'm Robbo, this is Mossy, and here's Clyde. And it's great to be here, Mossy. Oh, absolutely jumping out of my skin once again to be on the Tartan Couch. You'll notice it, it tends to change a fair bit. Uh, it's everywhere we go, and but some things don't change, Robbo, and that's Clyde. And look at that, Clyde never, ever sleeps. Now, he's strapped in for another big road to Glasgow. And I can tell you, Mossy, it's 140 days now until the 2014 Glasgow Commonwealth Games. And hasn't athletics just gripped this country uh, like nothing else? Absolutely. Last weekend, three state championships, Robbo. We know that athletics is in its prime right now, leading into the Commonwealth Games, where we'll be winning a swag of gold, silver and bronze medals. Listen, why don't we jump ourselves up to Queensland to start things off. Yeah, mate. Well, they didn't have their state champs up there, but they had the regional cup, and uh, it was going underway. And didn't Matty Denny throw out a discus? Uh, he's, he's actually set a record there as the longest discus throw for an under-20. So he's got the junior record. He's taken that off Julian Ruck. He threw a 63.66, a huge throw, and that's got him an A qualifier. And uh, well done, Matty Denny. Now, down south, so we're up here in New South Wales, the heartland of athletics. Uh, what we know is that down south, they did some jumping on the weekend in Victoria, a huge event down there as well. Well, Mossy, you, you'll know people in Australia and in Victoria especially, they'll know about the Stratton family. And the Stratton siblings were on fire in that sand pit again. Uh, Brooke took out the women's. Jamie took out the men's and younger and sister Christy also uh, with a third place in the podium there. Brooke, I can tell you, did a 6.39 Commonwealth Games B and she's just getting Bs uh, every time she goes out for an, a jump these days. So well done again to uh, Brooke Stratton. Also, Zach Patterson, just quickly in the 1500 metres, he took that one out in a very impressive 349.71 and he's uh, licking his lips ahead of the junior nationals coming up next week, Mossy. He's a real threat in that one. Damien Birkenhead, now we know he, got, he came off the win over there in the West, uh, winning the shot put in the Perth Track Classic. He got the win down at the Victorian, National, uh, the Victorian State Champs with an 1867, also a Com Games B. Uh, Eleanor Patterson doing great things in the high jump, another B there, 188 and a World Junior Qualifier. And in the hammer, Mossy, we don't talk enough about the hammer. And I know one it's of the forgotten sports, isn't it? It is, mate. One of your favourites, Gabrielle Neighbour and uh, Lara Nilsson. Well, they chucked out a couple of big Commonwealth Games Bs <laughs> as well. But the 800 metres, Mossy, and uh, the evergreen Catherine Katsinovakis took out the 800 metres. Now, we know she's a national champion previously, but she beat home the likes of Kayla McKnight and Kelly Hetherington uh, in a 203.12 to take the women's 800. But loads of great action down there at the Victorian Champs um, at Lakeside. And if you want to see more of that, jump onto Athvic TV on YouTube, and they have some fantastic coverage on there. You can check it all out. You're a man with a finger on the pulse, so uh, let's take a, a little bit of a, a run from Newcastle here down to Sydney for the New South Wales Athletics State Championships, which were held on the weekend. Yeah, Mossy, another huge state champs, and uh, look, I thought, who better to have a chat to about this one than David Tarb Botton, uh, Tarby, he's a much-loved figure in the world of athletics here in Australia and especially in New South Wales. He's a statistician, he's just a guru, photographer, uh, he's a walking almanac around athletics and let's give him a call now. It's, sorry, it's almost uh, insulting that I said you're the man with the finger <laughs> on the pulse. How about I let you get your finger on the pulse? Well, let's get our finger on Tarby's pulse and I'm sure Tarby won't mind so we'll give him a quick call here, Mossy, and I'll just make sure, I think I've got him on speed dial. Is it 4G or 3G? It's 4 here, I think. G'day, Tarby. Yes, mate, it's Robbo here from Mossy and Robbo. We're on the Tartan Couch. Mate, I just wanted to uh, pick your brain a little bit. I, I believe it was a huge state champs down there at SOPAC on the weekend. Tell us a little bit about what were your highlights. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Robbo. Um, yes, it was, um, it was a three-day uh, three meet and, um, yeah, a bit, bit wet under, underfoot. Danny Samuels was competing, um, of course, the world champion in 2009 at, at Berlin, and um, she just stepped, in the, stepped up and into the circle in that very first throw in the discus and just nailed 65-59. Wow. Phenomenal throw. And she'll be, actually, in fact, on the Sunday, she, can, she also um, did very well in the shot putt where she um, um, broke the New South Wales record and um, just missed a Commonwealth Games A qualifier. There was a, um, a fantastic... Um, high jump competition. And the, the bar went up to 186 and the two New South Wales girls um, nailed it and it's just fantastic. So that's a Commonwealth B for these two girls. So it's Nicola McDermott, who's a Central Coast, Mingara um, 
uh, athlete, and Amy Petchkovic. So those two are, are looking good. Kate Spencer from uh, the Ride Club here in Sydney. She's sort of still keeping her options open for Commonwealth and for World Juniors, and whether it be you know 3,000 or 5,000 or even steeplechase, which is actually her, her primary event. She ran 9.53.15, um, and she just... She 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 achieved everything she, she probably mm. need to. She's um she broke the New South Wales Junior and Open records. She um nailed a Commonwealth Games B qualifier. She got her World Junior qualifier, and she she moved to number five in the Australian all time list. And she's still a teenager. Wow. Um, just outstanding run. So, but um, Jared Geddes um came back on the Sunday after he'd been disqualified on the Saturday, and uh, so. On the Sunday, he ran the 200 metres and um, had little trouble in winning the race in 20.84 um, into a bit of a headwind. So he's going very, very well. Excellent, mate. Well, it sounds like a great meet. Uh, tell us, coming up next, down there in the same venue, we've got the Junior National Championships. What has caught your eye so far, Tarby, in terms of your predicted highlights Highlights for that one? So other, other than Matt Danny and a few others that, you've, that we've mentioned uh, who broke the um, Australian discus record um, last week in Brisbane, um, James Kermond is, um, is an absolute is a standout. He um, won the Australian All Schools 200 and 400 metres in uh, December in Townsville. In the high jump, women's high jump, Eleanor Patterson, who, yep. um, who jumped that amazing 196 in Townsville at the um, Australian All School. So she, she's just um, on the rise, um, you know, as, as one of our... I mean, she's, she's a medal chance for, for Glasgow and the Commonwealth Games. So yeah. um, she may even bypass the World Juniors. It's, it's hard to sort of say what she'll um, end up doing there. Also, of course, Georgia Wassell, as we, we mentioned, um, yep. won the New South Wales 1500, so she'll be going around in um, certainly the 800 metres, um, and Kate Spencer. And thanks very much for spending time with us, Tarby. We hope to catch up with you again on the road to Glasgow and keep up all the great work that you're doing, mate. You too. You, you too. You and, you and Mossy. Thanks, Robbo. All right, mate. Bye. Tar Bottom, there you go. Thanks very much, Tarby. And uh, there's not a lot he doesn't know about... Uh, statistics and uh, the ins and outs of track and field, Mossy. Yeah, he is the man uh, off the field, but then again, you'll see him on the field as well, as you said there, with the, f- the photography going on there. He is an absolute legend. Great to have you on board, Tarby. Don't forget, if you want to get in contact with us, at Mossy and Robbo, hashtag Tartan Couch. Well, Robbo, last week we were over in Perth for the Perth Track Classic, the go for two and, and five Perth Track Classic. It was a huge meet. And uh, one thing that I noticed there was that there were a few uh, spear chuckers over there, Robbo. Yeah, there certainly was. It was talked up to be a huge meet in terms of the javelin throws. And uh, we caught up with a few of Australia's best. We actually caught up with three of them. Now, a lot of people know them as the three Ks. This is actually the three M's of the javelin here in Australia. Here with one of our most outstanding javelin throwers, Catherine Mitchell, uh, a week ago, 66.1. Not far off the national record. You must be feeling pretty good. Uh, yeah, obviously. Um, it was a good throw and it was, um, yeah, hard to know what to expect for the obviously the first competition of the season. So um, obviously it was a good result and um, I've, I've been training really well and um, I expected to see these distances sometime this year. Um, probably not the first throw of the first competition, but um, yeah, there's there's still a lot to work on, and um, I think yeah, it's it's really going to be a great year ahead for me and Kim, and hopefully we can. I think we'll definitely give the the national record a, a good go at. How important is it to have uh, this competition there with Kim and also Kelsey Lee Roberts? I think it's a really good opportunity. I, um, you know, I've been speaking to Brian, the psychologist, and um, we're really in a good position that no other nation has um, in that, you know, the depth of, of their event is not there. So we're getting opportunity now early in the year to, you know, obviously there's the focus is in six months' time, but um, we're getting good opportunity to, to practice our competition management and, um, yeah, it's something that I don't think the other, the other countries have, so it's definitely an advantage. Well, best of luck tonight. It's the uh, go for two and five Perth Track Classic. So the quick question is, what's your favourite fruit? Uh, <laughs> quick question. Um, oranges. <laughs> uh, tell us how, how you're through tonight. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, it's February. Uh, the medals aren't handed out until 
late July and uh, I, uh, I wrote down my goal is uh, 60 three as an average in the domestic season and I think my average out of the two comps is now 64 and a half so definitely nailing that and uh, yeah look like the, the crowd tonight was amazing the uh, the weather here was amazing I just failed to just nail uh, a perfect throw and uh, look it's 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 definitely there like a missed throw and still going 63 is pretty cool you know what you need you need to increase your uh, fruit and vegetable intakes so ah, that could be it two and five so that leads well, us to our final question the hard-hitting questions here on the Tartan Couch. What's your favourite fruit? Mangoes, definitely. Ah, oh, high five. Give it up. High Mango five. Mango lovers. Yeah, but hey, awesome <laughs> to have you here on the Tartan Couch. And uh, we'll be out uh, continuing out on the rest of the tour and looking forward to having you on here again. Oh, thank you. And uh, good on you guys for coming all the way to Perth. I, uh, I, like, I've never moved from here and never will. And <laughs> you probably see why. It's absolutely marvellous. Sorry. Yes. Thank you. Perfect. Great to have Great. you on the Titan Couch. Thank we'll you. see you again soon. Excellent. Kim yeah. Nicole. Two there. and five, just like Kim. <laughs> so I'm here with Silas Moss and Silas threw Javelin in Little Athletics at Stockton. Uh, Silas, how are you looking in your later years in life in terms of your athletic career? Yeah, well, uh, Stockton Dolphins Little Athletics Club, as you would know, is probably the premium uh, club in the whole of Newcastle. Look, a few back injuries, as you know, hips and lower back are in, important for javelin with that rotation through there. So what I sort of encourage a lot of kids out there um, to is not make the same mistake that I did and throw from the one arm. You've actually got to become ampidextrous and throw with both arms and that way you kind of even out the wear and tear. Now, is it true that in the last few minutes you've just picked up a new coach, uh, Catherine Mitchell? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Catherine's a great product out of uh, Ballarat. I, I was actually down to coach her, but uh, we decided we'd you know, reverse the psychology and I'll allow her to coach me in this comeback season. I mean, we've got Com Games coming up soon. Um, I was going to go to Sopo, or Sopo, as they like to say over there in uh, Poland. Um, did you know that uh, it's got the longest jetty in the whole of uh, Europe? It's a, a fascinating place to be there. Um, so we won't be going there, but yeah, she'll be coaching me all the way to the Com Games. And look, let's hope Rio. We might have a good throw tonight at the Go for Two and Five Perth Track Classic. And final question: What's your favourite fruit? Mango. Yeah, this is Ben Harding. I'm going to see how far I can throw this Harding style boost. Uh, follow the hashtag on Willard Pro. Oh. Look, let's, let's have a look at what's coming up, and there's lots coming up. What's the topic that everyone's talking about around the world? Well, at the moment, it's the world indoors that are going on over there at... So Po. That's right. We've actually got some clarification. We, we thought we'd go to one of the best in the world. We did, actually, yeah, because it's been confusing. It's over there in northern Poland, um, and we weren't sure. And we thought we thought we just touched base with, base with defending uh, indoor world champion Sally Pearson to see... Her take on Sopo, let's hear from that. Tell us, have you got the inside scoop? Is it Sopo? 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 Isn't there a T on the end? Yeah. <laughs> pot? <laughs> so pot? So pot. I there was so pot. There you go. Mossy's been trying to get all exotic and, and European on us and call Yeah, I think there's a little earlier one. I don't care yeah. as long as I win. Well, you're puffed. So pot, according to uh, Sally Pearson there. But Mossy, yeah, the late mail is that it is Sopo, uh, keeping with the tradition of, of, of host cities ending in O. So obviously, you know, Moscow, Glasgow, Rio. Uh, Tokyo, you know, Dubbo, yep. the likes of these. So it's obviously Sopo. Um, and yeah, what is it about the uh, longest pier again, Mossy? Well, as not many people uh, that have been following us would know, they've actually, it is the longest pier. I call, like to call it a jetty in the whole of Europe. But let's not forget the fact they have the second biggest music festival as well, Robbo. Uh, Sally Pearson, she took on a 60 metre hurdles race at Berlin. And um, I want to just have a quick look at that now. Da steht die Läuferin, die hier schon im Vorlauf. Neue Weltjahresbestleistung gelaufen ist. Hallenweltmeisterin, Olympiasiegerin, Weltmeisterin aus Australien, Sally Pearson. Auf geht's, Nadine Hillmann, Sally Pearson, jetzt und vorne. Sally Pearson, die Wort Lewis, Nadine Hillmann, Pearson gewinnt. Sally 
And Mossy, what about that for a little bit of show business there? The, the house lights down, the spotlights on. You know, it's just it's going to be electric over here at Sopo uh, for the indoor champs this weekend. Collis Birmingham's taking on the 3,000 metres. I think that's on the Friday evening. So he'll be going around in that, and we look forward to seeing how he progresses. Hopefully, in a naked runner's headband, Mossy. Would it be right to say that you and I have a little bit of a thing for Collis? The way we just oh, love him, don't we? We 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 met him briefly. We didn't get much of a chance. We didn't get him on the couch, unfortunately, over in Perth. But no. I actually got him on a step. Uh, we had a really good long chat um, and in between vomits, uh, him and Robert, <laughs> Robo over there. Oh, well, there you go. Well, we look forward. We'll, we'll, we'll save that experience up getting Collis on the Tartan couch. Mossy, uh, it all then lines up for the Junior Nationals, and this is a five-day extravaganza kicking off Wednesday uh, next week. It's going to be a cracker. We've sent Lynchy down there to man the fort, and we're, he's going to be on the beanbags down there take uh, holding court, and it's going to be Lynchy's live stream, so I can't wait for that. Oh, that's going to be massive Lynchy on the, the beanbag. The one thing about Lynchy, he's not the hugest guy in the world, so you know, hopefully at times you might see him in there. He's not stuck inside the beanbag. Don't forget to check out Athletics Australia's website because the live stream will be up, four days in action. Uh, Lynch is going to be there giving you all the action as well, leading into the big one, Robbo. Yeah, well, the big one, Mossy, we, you and I will be there, the Sydney Track Classic and... Look, I'm honestly struggling to get to sleep at night with my excitement levels uh, this far out. What about Clyde? <laughs> Look at him. He's, he, can't, he can't even close his eyes. <laughs> Clyde's just permanently happy. It is going to be massive, Robbo, as are every event leading up to Glasgow. And what I encourage you to do is we're going to be there trackside giving you all the action. Even if you're in the event, you can uh, get it on your iPhone, your iPad. And don't forget to follow us at Mossy and Robbo, hashtag Tartan Couch. And Mossy, as we sign off today, I'll leave you with a high five from Clyde. And keep throwing those javelins right and left-handed, mate. We'll see you next time. <laughs>